Hi everybody. Welcome to our today's discussion. Compound pivotal mic Austin, which is essentially the same as the Van Hogen swing fundamentals. They are essentially the same, but obviously there are differences. In Mike Austin, there are two pivots. You start with the swing, two feet balance, then you get into the balance on your right foot and then left foot. What Mike Austin is mentioning as being the compound pivot is the movement of hips and shoulders. Compounding means not rotating level in Mike Austin's time. It is exactly the same as we have discussed in the previous videos. We don't want this. This is level turning in the sense of our shoulders and in the sense of our hips. We want this. One shoulder down, the other shoulder up. Mike Austin says this moment is compounding of the pivots. There are compound movements. One tilt and the other one is turning. What he says is there is no level turning. There is some kind of compounding of the turning itself. Half of them is tilting and the other half is turning. Ben Hogan's turning and Mike Austin's turning is essentially the same. In, again, Mike Austin's terms, which is the same almost in Ben Hogan's swimming, in our fundamentals as well, three o'clock, opposite of three o'clock is nine o'clock. If you start feeling the speed of the clopad, then at the end of the day, you start feeling the clopad pad as well. You will see at the end of the day that clopad pad, you will start at the top, at the four o'clock. Club head start at the polar clock and moves down until 10 o'clock. Between 4 o'clock and 10 o'clock. Diagonally. This is, this is the kind of move. This is the kind of move. 4 o'clock, 9 o'clock. This is true for our swing as well. Once you start feeling the speed, acceleration, deceleration, and another acceleration impact, then you start feeling this diagonal, four o'clock, 10 o'clock, diagonal move path of club path as well. Mike Austin swing, and our explanations as to the Van Hogan swing are essentially the same. This is four o'clock, nine o'clock, diagonal moment of down swing. Yes, in the case of Ben Hogan, one major difference is the strong rotational move of hands and arms around body, at the end of which you knock your upper trail arm with your trail forearm. This This will give additional distance, additional accuracy, additional consistency. Yes. Yes, this is the move. This is the move. You know, you can say hello at the end of the move. This is hello. At the end of the day, you will gain this kind of comfortable action. Yes, hope it's useful. See you in the next video.